Hey everybody, it's that time of year again, and Halloween is right around the corner. To kick off the season, I'm going to show you guys how I made this Elfo costume for my very best friend, Stark. If you don't know the show, Elfo is this adorable little elf character from the show Disenchantment. Although I'm making this costume for a dog, it's very easy to just make the exact same pieces for a human. So let's begin. Start with the base. I just used this plastic headband. It's very stretchy so Stark can wear it comfortably. And then I took this giant piece of craft foam, which you can find at the craft store for really cheap. And then I drew out Elfo's ears. Since Elfo is an elf, they are oversized and pointy. And these are even more oversized than Elfo's ears proportionally, but it just seemed to fit Stark better, probably because his real ears are so big. It's really easy to play around with the different sizes because you can use craft foam or paper to just kind of compare how the ears look. So no big deal. Draw out the ears and then cut them out of the craft foam. Another piece of this costume that I cut out of the craft foam were these crazy hair sprouts that he has. And I just traced them and cut them out with enough of a lip on the end that I could tuck it underneath the headband. Since the hair around Stark's face is black, I decided to cover the headband with this scrap fabric that I had just so that the headband would blend in and you wouldn't have this weird blue ring around his face. All I did was cut out strips of it and then hot glue it around the headband, folding it wherever it's necessary. For the hat, I am once again turning to craft foam. I absolutely love this, especially for doggy costumes, just because it's so lightweight and very flexible, so it doesn't really hinder Stark's movement at all, and it's really comfortable. Anyway, I took a rectangular piece of the craft foam and then just folded it into a cone shape for the hat shape. Now, of course, this is going to be weird at the end. All you have to do is glue it so that the cone will be there. Now Elfo's hat is slouchy, but this craft foam I can't really make slouchy. So all I did was cut the bottom at an angle instead of straight down so that it would rest leaning backwards or pointing backwards off of his head instead of straight up. So that's all, and then I just rounded off the bottom. To make it purple, I used this piece of fabric that I found at the craft store, it's just a small little scrappy piece, and then glued it around the hat. For that nice poof at the end of the hat, I found some of my extra wool. This actually ended up being a really cool material because it's very fluffy. And to make it a light purple color to match the hat, I diluted some food coloring. I used blue and red and just mixed them together and then let that soak in there for maybe an hour. And then when I took it out, it looked like this. It didn't take a lot of color, so I probably could have used more. Now it was time to assemble all of the pieces. I painted the hair sprouts and the ears to be that nice green color that Elfo is and I added some details to the ears with black paint. I glued the hair down over the headband and then glued the edge of the front of the hat again so that it would be pointing backwards to appear a little bit slouchy and then glued the ears on. And that poof that we just made I just kind of crumpled it into this crazy ball and started gluing like crazy at the tip of the hat. It actually turned out to look okay. I also glued the ears down where they meet the hat. See that they're kind of going out to the sides. I glued them to the sides of the hat so that they would stick up more instead of straight out. But you'll see how that works out. Elfo wears a red collared shirt. So we went into our closet and found a red collared shirt. Now, if you wanted to destroy your shirt a little bit, you could make it fit better for a pup by cutting it down the middle, folding over the middle, and then sewing it back together, just so that the front is smaller than the back, because they need a lot of room over their back, because they're just size different than people. <laughs> but we wanted to keep this shirt, so we did not do that. 
you can check out the rocket video if you want to see more details on that. Ta-da! Costume complete! And as you can tell, Stark is very comfortable wearing it. As I mentioned, the ears didn't really stay put how I wanted them to because he is very expressive and has bigger and stronger ears than I had planned for. <laughs> Even after they started to detach from the hat a little bit, he still looked really cute and you could still tell that he was Elfo. The ears just went a little haywire. But I decided to leave it that way just to give his ears a little more room to breathe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. Check out Stark's other costume videos and stay tuned for more coming this season. Thanks so much!